Okay guys, I just wanna show you how to use some of these actions over here. I think some of them are pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'm in the beginning stages here, so yours might actually be named something a little bit different, um, but that's okay. you will kind of do the same thing. Um, I wanna show you what are the ones that I use the most. Definitely this quick airbrush right here. So this is, I'm um, gonna make a mask here. It says airbrush me. You wanna make sure that you are on your brush over here. You know, your opacity, you can even leave it 100% because later we can go back through and um, lower this uh, layer over here and, and kind of like soften it if we want to, how much we've done. Um, so I'm gonna take my brush, I'm gonna make sure that it's not um, a hard brush, it's a soft brush, so my hardness is way down. And I'm just gonna paint over her skin, I'm changing my brush size uh, with some keystrokes down here just to Kind of get here's where it's touchy with her hair especially with her haircut um you kind of want to just get in real close and uh, not touch the hairline too much this was shot at 1.8 so it's already fuzzy over here uh, but that's okay we're going to go over that as well and then just be very careful not to get her lashes um very careful around her lashes there and around the features of like wherever there's contrast in her face uh, that isn't a blemish, we want to avoid it. So obviously like her nostrils, um, like these lines here, I don't wanna just totally blur that. I'm gonna go back, cause that's just too blurry to me. I actually just wanna hug right around those lines there. Like that, being very careful not to get her eyebrows, right around the eyebrows. And then over her eyelids, I usually don't do that at 100%. I'm just gonna go down to like 80 um, and changing my brush size as I do this. Changing the brush size real small through there. Come up a little bit like that. Sweet. Go around her lips again. Careful not to get her actual lips. And then if this, uh, if we were doing a shop that had more skin uh, that was you know in focus, we'd keep going on her body where we see fit. I'm always using a little bit heavier of an opacity um, on her face than the rest of her body probably. Okay, so I believe I got all of her face there. So that is um, this quick airbrush. You can change how much, uh, you know, how strong it is just by coming over here and changing the layer uh, opacity. Simple as that. Uh, the difference between the two airbrushes, airbrushes, <laughs> the high pass and the quick airbrush, the high pass is gonna leave more um, of the texture of her skin. So if you have a lot of grain on your image or um, you just want her freckles to stay, you don't want it to look that soft. Um, let me show you the difference. It kind of keeps her pores in check and everything. I personally like this one a little better, but you'll find that sometimes, depending on the circumstances, one works a little better than the other. This is really kind of getting rid of, get of getting rid of freckles and stuff like that, um, but it's because I have it at 100% opacity over here, so I would definitely go over there. Um, like I said, I use this one when I'm, I have a lot of grain on the image or when I really do want to kind of leave her pores or some fine lines um, showcased. Not showcased, but you know what I mean. I don't want it, her to be totally kind of blurry looking, so that's what this one is about. So you can see the difference there. I didn't. I did that very quickly. If I was doing um, an actual uh, image for print or something, I would be way more careful. Uh, but then, of course, that's way too strong for me. So I bring it to about 50%. So here's this one at 50%, and then here is the uh, first, the quick airbrush. They just do different things. Um, I like this one better, the um, high pass one. However, I do find plenty of times where, um, given the circumstances, the uh, quick airbrush works a little bit better. Um, okay, so now I wanna show you guys something else. Um, that's a little, still a little too strong for me. Of course I would then go through and if she had any blemishes that we wanted to remove, I would patch them with this tool over here or, or spot heal them. So I just go through like, let's pretend this is a blemish and not a freckle. I would just go through here. Oops, look at that, I'm on the, I need to collapse it. What am I doing? See, I was about to uh, patch this here. That's not gonna work. Um, I need to merge my layers first, and then we could just go through and clean it up that quickly um, on blemishes and, and whatnot. So there's that. Um, another one I wanted to show you guys is this little eye pop I have here. Um, I would go through, hit that. 
Again, I'm not on button mode, um, mainly because I've been messing with these actions today. Um, but you could always go up here and see this thing right here and go to button mode. It might make it a little easier. Oops, taking a while. Taking a while. Okay, so what this action is doing is it's sharpening the eye and the iris and also adding a ton of saturation. So isn't that pretty? Sometimes I'll even, with like a 50%, go along the lash line a little bit, just to kind of bring out that little pinky hue she has there. Um, if you don't like, we actually have uh, pinkish maroon makeup on her down here. So if you don't, if you don't like how much is bringing out the reds, then I wouldn't do it that much. Um, but again, two strong. So then I come over here and just 50% it, or you know, to my liking, and it just gives her eyes that little bit of a pop. So it's a little bit of sharpening and um, and a little more color there. All right, so that's that. Um, I'm just gonna collapse all this and throw like this first one. Another thing that I use a bunch is this web ready 1200 pixel. Definitely if I'm doing like Instagram posts or printing up on Facebook or my blog, it um, makes it 1200 pixels wide, so smaller for web, and then also sharpens it. So that's another one I use a bunch. The rest of these are pretty self-explanatory. If you wanted to paint purple in different areas, paint blue in different areas, I'm guessing you've seen some of my tutorials like from OK to Epic. I show you in detail how I use those things. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Nice chatting with you guys. Have a good day. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please keep tuning in. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on my newsletter. And I would love to connect. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.